Hey YouTube, so I'm showing how to do the Toshiba Skip Banks. This is a 10S bank and I'm going to modify it into a 6S bank. And I'm also going to use three other cells from this bank. And I have another one here that I'm going to have another 6 cells. So I'll have three banks total of 6 cells. So here's the main positive. So I have six cells, and then I have it marked out there for a hole, there to cut, there for a hole, there to cut. So what I've got going on here, oops, I moved this. What I did is I cut a little notch out of a piece of paper towel. I had it uh, kind of taped down there just so like a bunch of birds don't get all over the place. I end up on here, not on the battery. Then I have masking tape in there. And then I'm going to take the vacuum cleaner and clean this up. And then I'm going to drill this hole. And then I'm going to cut these bars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Dremel tool with cut off wheel. And I'm just going to cut at an angle like so. Like this. So basically, this cell is going to wind up useless because there won't be enough of anything to connect to. That's okay. I don't care. One cell it's no big deal I'm still getting three banks out of this and there will be two cells left over which I can't use anyways 